Hello everyone, my name is Tyler from TarverAcademy.com at Tyler Tarver on Instagram. You can get out your phone if your teacher's not looking and you can find me on Instagram. Sorry teacher, I just said that. Okay, so here we go. We want to solve this equation. I want to find out what this angle right here. I want to find out what this angle is. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking. You try, try whatever. Give it your best shot. And then hit play, hit resume. And we'll see if we got it right. Ready? Go. That's an eight. I just messed it up. Okay, so we're back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, what we have here, these are two parallel lines, and this is a transversal. It cuts these two lines. Now, you know they're parallel because they have this little marking right here in the middle. It's like a little uh, like angle in the middle. It just means they're parallel, okay? So, Whenever two lines are parallel and they're cut by a transversal, and you're dealing anywhere with these angles, and you're comparing two angles, you only have two options. Either those are going to be equal to each other, or they're going to add up to equal 180. They are either congruent or they are supplementary. That's the only two options, okay? You just got to figure out, well, are these angles the same, or do they add up to 180? I'll give you a hint. If they go together and make a straight line, they add up to 180. If they are the exact same measure, then they are equal. Looking at it, I call it the, I call it the TBL method, tell by looking. This angle is acute. It's less than 90. This angle is acute. It's less than 90. They have to be equal. Okay? You cannot have two acute angles that add up to 180. It just doesn't work because they're both less than 90. How can it add up to 180? Okay? So I know these are going to be option A, which is they're equal to each other. So we just solve it like a regular equation. 8x minus 25. Okay, so let's solve it. Um, I like to get my lower variable to the other side first, so I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. If that goes away. That is 10. Equal sign. Bring everything straight down. 8x minus 4x is 4x. Then bring down negative 25. Opposite of minusing 25 is adding 25, so I'm going to do that to both sides. So 4x equals 35, and then I divide both sides by 4 because it's 4 times x, so the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I divide both sides by 4, I'm going to write it up here because I'm running out of room. And then 4 goes into that, uh, 8 and 0.75, is that 8.75? Yeah, 8.75 times. So I found x, and you're done. No. If you were taking the ACT or you're doing an exam, then, and it's a multiple choice, Every single time, they will have 8.75 as one of the answers. And because you just did a whole bunch of work, and you got this number, so that's the answer, right? No, that's not what I asked for. And it's usually not what your equation asks for. I asked for this angle measure, okay? So what you have to do is plug this back in to this angle's equation. So it'll be 8 times 8.75 minus 25. I'm going to cheat. Get a calculator. If you have a calculator, you can race me, see if you can beat me. Ready to go? So 8 times 8.75, 70. Did, did you win? Great job. You're so wonderful. All right, and then we do 70 minus 25, which is 45. So that is a 45-degree angle. So what would this angle be? 45, because they're equal. Good job, everybody. Check out tarveracademy.com. And thanks for... Joining me. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.